Okay. Oh, day 126 of Sabox and Paws. Um, mm. Well, um, this sucks. I did not want to make this video today. Uh, I sinned big time. Oh, this sucks, dude. This sucks, but I'm but I'm honest. I'm gonna be honest. Um, oh, this sucks. <laughs> this really freaking sucks. But whatever. Um, I I I I sinned. I failed today. Um, and I feel terrible. I, I, I'm just going to be straight up, dude. Pornography. I hope I can make this freaking video. Um, I was really tempted last night, actually. La last night I was really tempted and then I didn't give in and, um, didn't sleep good last night. Had a headache this morning. Didn't go to work today. Um, you know, my wife's been gone the last two days visiting her dad. She's going to come back here. And I, of course I got, I'm going to tell her, um, and, uh, I was able to go back to sleep and, uh, was having weird dreams and had a, had a dream that I actually did look at pornography in my dream. And, and I, and I felt bad and everything. I even woke up and I was like, Oh man, I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, but t didn't freaking matter, you know, I still did it and I've, I've kind of been in a, I feel terrible. Obviously I've been crying I just feel terrible, but I'm like in a state of shock as well. I just can't believe I, I did that. Um, you know, it just sucks freaking sucks, dude. I, there's no point to this video. I mean, I, I had a vision last night and then it's just all, I'm not doing that right now. I don't even feel like I'm not even worthy. I mean, like seriously, like I just, I don't know. I have no authority behind me. All I can do is, I don't know. I'm going to make this video and just be truthful and just let you in my head a little bit, I guess. And I don't know. Um, oh, I just feel very ashamed and I, you know, I felt ashamed. I still feel ashamed. I haven't forgiven myself and I know I, I need to do that. And until I forgive myself, I'm going to be in this dark funk hole, whatever. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, really it's, it's a, it's a great lesson you know, I know I've said this in videos before, like, I can't trust myself, you know, there's nothing good in me, I know I just said that recently, this is why, this is true, I know this, I know the real Gabe, I know the Gabe, you know, I know the flesh Gabe, you know, um, I know that God's spirit guides me, and if I don't have that, I just... I just do this kind of crap all the freaking time. I know it's wrong. I mean, there's just crazy. I mean, it's just, it's crazy doing something that you know is vile and wrong. And there's a part of you that doesn't want to do it, but you want, but there's a, another part of you that really wants to do it. And I, that's the thing is I can't deny that. Like, you know, it's obviously in my heart. And I didn't talk about this in, in the videos the last few days. I just mainly because I forgot it wasn't because I didn't. And I, sh you know. I don't know. I is I I have been tempted with pornography. I know I've said that on other videos, but I have the last few days, you know. And it just um, obviously in my heart, I really wanted to do it. If I didn't really want to do it in my heart, somewhere in there, I would you I wouldn't have done it. And uh, you know, it's just a it just shows like, dude, how, how freaking weak we are and how, how volatile, how, how fragile 
this whole thing is, okay, and how much we need to focus on this recovery, because it's easy to have a slip up, you know, I, I thank God so much that I freaking hate opium, and, and I genuinely don't want it in my heart, that's all him, that's all him, it just is reminded, like, it's, dude, it's all him, I can't explain that. I can't explain that I don't want that. But there's things I got to freaking work on in my life. I got to work on big time in my life. Um, you know, there, there there's things that deep down, I, I, I guess I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I was just relying on myself a little too much. I mean, I knew I'd been tempted and knew that there was a little something in there that that I, I, I did hate it in, in some respects, but there was something in there that I really did freaking still want it or something. I still wanted to have one last look or something. I don't even freaking know, but it's always one last look. That's how it always freaking is. Same thing with freaking opium too. It's always, you know, it's always a freaking lie, dude. It's always a freaking lie. And of course it wasn't as good. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's fake. It's fake. It's phony. It's, it's, you know, it, it's, if it's, if it's, if it's opium or alcohol or whatever, whatever you're working on or all of that crap, it's all fake. It's all chemical. It's, it's artificial happiness. You know, pornography is fake. It's, it's just images. It's, it's all a fantasy. It's all just a, it's just, it, it's bad, dude. It's sin. It's bad. It's bad. It's, 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 it's terrible. Those, those, I, I sinned against my wife. I sinned against God, obviously. And, and those, and those, and those women, you know, they, you know, if there wasn't men wanting to look at that, there, there wouldn't be pornography. You know, I hear some guys, well, those women shouldn't be doing that. It's like, well, if you weren't looking at it, they wouldn't be doing that. There would be no market for it. You know what I mean? Like we're all freaking, we all got to look in the freaking mirror, dude. And I surely do right now. Um, just sucks really freaking sucks, you know, it is a reality check big time though, you know, I'm, I gotta get to the heart, to the root of this problem, it's always been a problem, it's always been my, I'm sorry dude if this video is just not what you guys expected, it's not really about Suboxone, I'm just being honest, this is what I have to do, I have to do this, I have to confess this, this is just part of this, okay, Um, because this could be your relapse, or this could be, you know what I mean, and it's good to just when you when you mess up big time and you sin big time freaking confess this crap get it off your chest right away you know um i was terrified of making a video as soon as i did what i did cuz i knew i knew that i had to freaking tell you guys and i didn't want to but i but i knew that there's no possible way i could just act like this didn't happen i could not get on here and do the video that i had planned doing what i did I would be in for a world of hurt and God, that, that would, it would be so hypocritical. I, I'm, I'm a hypocrite, dude. I am. And I, and I get it, dude. If some of you guys are just like, you know, you don't even really respect a lot of things I've said now. I get it. I totally get it. I get it. I don't even, I mean, like, I, I mean, seriously, you know, I've let, oh, I've just let myself down. I've let you guys down. I've let God down. I'm sorry. I just feel like crap now. I'm sorry. Um, you know, oh, but yeah, I just, I knew that I couldn't lie to you guys, you know, or, or just act like it didn't happen or, you know what I mean? Like it just, that's not the way it works, you know, then I thank God at least, at least I'm not doing that anymore, I guess. I mean, cause there's a positive, uh, uh yeah. No, but, you know, I'd always just hide this crap. I'd always hide it for as long as I could, and then it would all just come out, and I'd tell my wife, and blah, you know, and cry. I've always been a crier guy, whatever, crier guy, whatever the heck that means, whatever. A guy that is, I, I'm just a softy, whatever, I, don't, I really don't care, but, um, but, you know, you know, the Bible it does talk about the spirit versus the flesh, you know, and it's a, it's a freaking war. It is a war. Paul writes of that. It is a war, you know, and you know, we, we can't fight this war with uh, earthly, 
weapons. I mean, that's just straight up, you know, that says that the, the flesh profits a man nothing. Um, it's the spirit that profits a man. And, and that's true. And, um, you know, I, and I was thinking, I was thinking of a couple things. I was thinking, cause I, dude, you guys, I've been so down on myself today. Like, obviously, like, I mean, I'm not even going to get into everything, I guess, in my head. Whenever, you know, I f- would freaking do st- something like this or just, you know, and I sin every day. I mean, I do. I sin every day. I have thoughts, you know, whether it's lust or just negative thoughts towards somebody or, or whatever, you know, I sin every day, dude. You know, and, and need and you need to ask for forgiveness. I need to ask for forgiveness every day. But when you do something like this, you know, the when you just know you're you're just complete you completely know it's wrong and yet you still do it, it's it's rough. It's man, it's freaking hard, you know. But so I've been really down on myself, but I just have to, you know, you I pray and I quote scripture and I read, you know, um, just, you know, a righteous man falls seven times, but he picks himself up each time, okay, in Proverbs, I don't know exactly where that is, but, you know, it's something I was thinking about, and this is not to make me feel better, it's not to, well, maybe it is, I guess, I don't even know, but I was thinking about this, and, and I was, you know, if you've messed up, if you've relapsed, or whatever, and you, and, or whatever, you know, whatever it is, you guys, seriously, and that's the thing, is like, I mean, this is freaking, I feel terrible, you know, yes, I did not relapse, I did not relapse on opium, you know, but, you know, there, there's a bigger picture, is, I, I'm not, it's not so much about, oh, I don't want to relapse, like, no, I want to live for God, I want to live 100% for God, and I failed that, and it just is like, it just, it sucks, and Satan is right there, and he is harping on me, he knows he's got to bring me down, and uh, he knows that I will already be bringing myself down, and he's going to make that even worse, but I was, anyway, I was, what I was going to say is I was thinking about the story of Peter, because I know truth, I know truth, I know, I knew what was right, I knew what was wrong, and I, and I screwed up, I sinned greatly, okay, um, you know, I even preach against this, you know, and I, I mean, it, 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 it is, if I keep dwelling on it, it just gets worse and worse. So I'm, but, um, I was thinking of Peter and I was thinking of Peter was ready to go die with the Lord. You know, and Jesus was talking about what was going to happen. And he's like, well, I'll, I'll go with you. I'm not, I'll die with you. I you know, yeah. Cause Jesus said, you know, all of you are going to fall away tonight. He told that to all the, all the disciples. They're all, he said, you're all going to fall away because of me. And Peter's like, well, the rest might, but I won't. And, you know, Jesus, obviously it's very famous. You know, he says before the rooster crows, you know, you're going to, you're going to deny me three times. And, you know, Peter had seen the glory of Jesus. Okay. Yes, though, Peter was threatened more than likely with his life. If they were killing the one who said he was the Christ, you know, more than likely they were going to say, well, you believe, oh, so you you follow him. You believe he's the Christ blaspheme and you're going to, you know, now you're going to die with him. You know what I mean? They're going to wanted to probably make an example. And Peter knew that and he denied Christ three times. And then, so he, you know what I mean? He knew the truth. He knew. And yet, uh, the flesh is weak and he fell into that and uh, said he wept bitterly. He, he, I mean, he just, he, he lost it, man. He lost it when, when that happened. And it's interesting when Jesus rose again too, he said, go tell the disciples and Peter, he said, uh, which, which is very interesting. Uh, cause I think Peter really f- must've felt like he had just blown it, that he wasn't a true follower of Christ. And believe me, I had those thoughts today. I thought, how can I have the spirit in me if I did that? Sucks. But, you know, it's not to make an excuse, the story of Peter. It's not to make an excuse, but it is to have a little bit of a reality check. We are human. We mess up. Sometimes we mess up freaking big time. You know, big time, big time, big time. You know, but but just remember that, you know, if the disciples messed up, and they messed up a ton, you know, but that was just a famous one. And it's more, you know, Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him and Peter was hurt by the third time. Well, you know, I'm going to have to go through that process myself. 
you know, I've been through it again, but, you know, the, as this gets later and later and you mess up again and again and again, it does get harder, man. It just gets harder when you, when you do that kind of crap, at least for me, it really does. I mean, I guess I thank, thank God that I care, I guess, and I feel terrible about what I did, but I'm sorry if this is just too, this is obviously what's on my mind, you know, but, um, but anyway, just, uh, I don't know, just don't, don't let this sin, if you messed up or something, don't, don't let the sin spiral out of control, don't get down on yourself and go, well, now I did this, so now this, you know, don't do that, don't freaking do that, I've done that so many times before, and it just is worse, it just is worse and worse and worse, I mean, it's just terrible, um, so we just, we we can't do that, okay, um, you know, we just, I don't know. We, we, we got to stay focused and we got to realize that, uh, we, we, we cannot trust in ourselves. Okay. We cannot trust in ourselves. Understand that. I, I mean, I've said that a million times and and now it's really, well, it's always proven. I mean, it's, it's, it's always true. It doesn't make it not true, but it's, uh, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Some of you guys are probably like, I don't even want to listen to you talk anymore. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know, <clears throat> um, but uh, I was gonna say a couple other things, but I'll wait for that for tomorrow, I guess. Um, just pray for me, folks. Pray for me. Um, I'm praying for you, folks. You know, and just I don't know. I don't even know. I, it's hard for me to even you know. But just if if you messed up or if you are messing up, freaking tell somebody. Tell somebody. Uh, repent. That's what the Bible says. Repent. Do a 180. Turn around. Um, that's what we got to do. We, we're, we are all sinners. We all mess up. We're going to mess up, you know, but we, we need to repent, you know? Um, and, and you might even be in a, in a, in a, you know, in a place where you think there's no way God can forgive me. How do I get out of this? You know what? He, he, he will for, he does forgive you. Okay. If you really repent in your heart and you really confess your sin and you know it to be wrong and you go to God, he's faithful. He, 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 he he will forgive you. That's, that's Jesus paid the price. All of that death and that, that, that on the cross, that was, that was my sin. (sighs) It sucks, but it was my sin. He did it because he loved us. Okay. Um, just, just don't get too down on yourself. Okay. Don't, uh, don't lie to yourself and tell, tell you that it's all, all okay, but don't get down on yourself. Don't, God will always forgive you, you know? And, and I'm telling you right now, if he forgives me, it, you know, if he has forgiven me, believe me, he'll forgive you, you folks. I have done this so many times, too many times. And I know, and I know the right way. You know, it's just amazing. It took my, my wife was gone for two days. And that's all it freaking took. I mean, just freaking, you know, I need to get some, dude, I, I, I'm going to tell her like, dude, I need to get it on my phone to where it's not even possible for me to do that. Just to not even have that temptation. It's just right at your freaking fingertips now to, you know what I mean? It's just sucks. It freaking sucks. That's not an excuse. I was saying, I have no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. You know, everyone has their struggles and things that really get them. Even I don't care. My sex drive is way heightened. Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yes. I'm a guy and it's heightened. Whatever. It doesn't freaking matter. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. You know, we can't make excuses. We have to recognize it as what, for what it is. It's sin. It is, uh, it does not please God. He's it, uh, you know, um, he's uh, disappointed. I know he's disappointed. I know he doesn't hate me and he's not like mad and like wants to destroy me. It's taken me a while to figure that out in my life, but I know he's disappointed. I mean, it's just like when your kid does something bad, you love them, but yes, you are disappointed. And if you don't punish them, then you're not a good parent because they're just going to keep, you know what I mean? Like that, that's just the reality. That's why God is our father. There's that connect, you know, it's for reason. So anyway, but I was really struggling out here and I was like, man, I don't even want to read any scripture, but God like put it on my heart. Like, well, you got to read something you have to. And, uh, and I opened up John cause I'm just feeling so down and I just opened this up and I read this, I had it underlined and I just was like, dude, that's totally what I'm reading. Thank you, God. And I started crying and talking to God and 
just anyway this is jesus talking okay all that the father gives me will come to me and the one who comes to me i will certainly not cast out for i came down from heaven not to do my own will but to do the will of him who sent me this is the will of him who sent me that of all that he has given me i lose nothing but raise it up on the last day so if you if you know the truth and you you blow it big time god has not cast you out okay every everything that the father has given jesus you know if you go to jesus he said he will certainly not cast you out he doesn't want anyone to uh be destroyed he doesn't he wants all to come to repentance so let's come and repent and turn around you know all we can do is is fix is do what is in present time right now i messed up i messed up. i i I failed present time earlier absolutely there's not right now there's nothing i can do about that there was i already failed there was something i could have done and i didn't do it i should have i should have just opened my bible right away and just really that's what i freaking did last night i failed today There's right now, there's nothing that I can't take that back. There's nothing I can do. All I can do is move forward with God. And, and I was praying to God earlier, dude. I I just said, you know, somehow use this garbage that I did for, for good somehow. And I know he will. And I said, even if it's just a hard way for me, I don't care. Whatever's going to keep me closer to you, you know, and bring glory to you even even with with my garbage that i did somehow do it so i'm sorry for making this long video i'm sorry for just harping on one issue but it's just one video in many so i'm sure i don't know hopefully it helps you know i'm just being truthful too hopefully this helps some of you well some of you is probably gonna i don't know it's i don't know if it's gonna i don't know i don't know but just know like i'm not afraid to when i mess up I am going to confess it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I hope that you can still trust me. Um, anyway, stay clean. Another day clean. Oh, I, this is not a victory day. This is a crappy day for me, but you know what? Life is is a, we, we gotta, we live and we learn, you know, always a work in progress. We are okay. We're always a work in progress. Um, Just don't lose faith. Don't lose heart, okay? Don't lose faith. I can't lose faith, okay? Don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. Stay clean. If if you've screwed up, let's get right back on it. Right back on this, okay? Um, whatever, Whatever it may be, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for all the support and always being there and stuff. And hopefully I'll get back to making some boxing videos, (laughs) uh, soon, but I just feel, you know, this is, this is going to hit me for a little bit. So anyway, God bless and salute.